everyone. Welcome to Pound for Pound TV, home of the safe bet. This is Michael and it's been a while, but I'm back. Coming to you from the Grand Canyon State this Saturday, the 21st of May, is 12 rounds of super middleweight action between David Benavidez and David Lemieux. Glendale, Arizona is the spot and the vacant WBC interim belt is the prize as both fighters and former world champions look to get closer to a potential world super duper fight with the king, Saul Canelo Alvarez. David El Bandera Roja Benavidez feels like he is in his prime at this moment in his career, according to him, and the way he is looking and performing, it's hard to disagree. He has stopped his last five opponents leading up to this bout with Lemieux, and he is looking to do the same on the 21st of May if the opportunity presents itself. I feel there is respect between the fighters and both expect a tough fight from the other, but it has to be said from an objective perspective that the Benavidez camp must be feeling pretty confident of a win, and why not? Both fighters carry some winning momentum going into this fight, but Benavidez possesses the more standout attributes and positive recent fight experience than Lemieux. For starters, Benavidez has won his last five convincingly, and it's important to emphasize that. The two fights before his winning streak were wars against tough Romanian Ronald Gavril. In their first encounter, Benavidez went to the canvas for the first time in his pro career before getting up and winning by split decision. Conversely, Lemieux went down twice in his last five, and two of those last five victories came by points decision. At six foot and a half and eight years younger than his upcoming opponent, the 25-year-old Benavidez not only has the height and age advantage, but reach and commanding recent performances also. The buzz online and in boxing circles is about Benavidez facing Canelo, Andrade or Charlo or Plant. Sadly, Lemieux is not in any of these discussions and this is, I think, testament to how the public perceive these two and where they are at their careers. 25 wins with 22 by knockout with no losses or draws highlights Benavidez is strong upward trajectory towards a potential undisputed unified title bout with Canelo should Canelo come down to super middleweight to defend his titles after his bivol bout, which at the time of uploading this hasn't occurred yet. Benavidez has all the right tools for reigning supreme in this division. Power and speed for one. Just ask Porky Medina about how fast and hard Bandera Roja can hit when Benavidez put a combo together to both sides of Medina's head like hyperactive flippers in a pinball machine. A good ring and boxing IQ, movement, tough and gritty durability make Benavidez not just a crowd pleaser, but a dangerous and risky fight for anyone. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves though, because David the Demolisher Lemieux has a few things going for him and is by no means a lame duck in this fight. All told, Lemieux has stepped in the ring for 47 professional bouts with a record of 43 wins with 36 by KO, 4 losses with 2 by KO and 0 draws. As a pro, he has had almost double the pro fights that Benavidez has had. Don't think for a moment that all that ring time doesn't account for something, and you can be sure that Lemieux has learned a thing or two. Then there is the obvious power that he carries, and although he is older now, he still carries the Eliminator ability that has seen so many previous opponents go night-night. More than this, Benavidez is yet to test himself against top flight and elite competition, and as imposing and as dangerous as he looks when he fights, it's worth remembering that Lemieux was used to beating guys below that upper echelon level. Of course, when he did step up to guys like Triple G, Rubio or Saunders, his boxing abilities and chin were exposed and he lost. Benavidez will be an unknown quantity to Lemieux and he may feel confident from what he's seen of Benavidez that he might not be of the caliber of fighter that Lemieux has struggled against in the past. Lemieux likes to come forward and apply continuous pressure, but against opponents with stiff jabs, for example, he becomes a little undone, and so against a bigger, rangier fighter like Benavidez, he'll have to change up his tactics to get past the jab and guard. A little more feigning, level changing, and multi-combo punches as opposed to basic one-twos or single shots will be needed to disrupt the rhythm and timing of Benavidez. Lemieux did this to great effect against Marco Reyes a while back, where he was able to get inside on the bigger guy and mix his shots up to great effect. 
Lemieux also showed he can be elusive and evade a lot of incoming fire when pushing forward to get inside. That's the Lemieux that needs to show up on the 21st. In a more recent fight like the one against Max Bursak, we saw glimpses of that style from Lemieux, but we also saw flat feet and stationary defense like putting the earmuffs on and taking shots. Against Bursak, who was not a massive hitter, that might have worked, but against Benavidez, it will end in an early night for sure. If that's the Lemieux that shows up on the night, he better be coming to the fight in his pajamas. If I'm wrong, I'm happy to walk into a bikey bar wearing leather chaps and play the Blue Oyster Bar music from Police Academy if they have it on their jukebox and then ask a fella if they'll dance with me. But I can't see Benavidez losing this one. He might have been a fan of Lemieux once, but he won't take it easy on him and I think Lemieux's chin will unfortunately let him down. Benavidez by knockout. Before we hear from the experts, a reminder to please jab that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Check out our Patreon page to become a Patreon family member where you will receive some cool perks. Want some merch? We've got t-shirts, the baseball caps, the phone covers from Boxing the Crypto and everything in between. So head on over to In Stock Shop to find something you like. You can find a link below. Life is a fight outside the ring and I've certainly gone a few rounds. From substance abuse to depression to street fights and trouble with the law, my life has seen a lot of darkness, but I've turned my life around and my experiences might help you to do the same if you are or have dealt with similar hardships. It's all documented in my book, How to Get Out of Life Traps, and it's available on Amazon. Just follow the link below. for an opportunity to make money? That cryptocurrency is so hot right now. I'm not a financial advisor, but it's pretty obvious that it is growing in popularity and utility. And many folks think that they have missed the boat on cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, but they couldn't be further from the truth. You can mine Bitcoin on your laptop, PC, or mobile phone if they are half decent without having to splurge on expensive mining rigs. In fact, you can do it for free. This is not a paid sponsor, simply a great opportunity and something that I'm doing. And Stormgain can help you generate income using credit earned by mining online. Click the link below and start earning crypto today.